Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Is that going to work? Uh, how are we? What is going on everybody? 2,000 years later. We're good? Alright. What is going on guys? Welcome to another video and another episode of Making Gains. And today's video, I think the title will be something like, I'm obsessed. or. I'm obsessed with tracking things because honestly guys, the last few days, or the last week or so, I have been, I've been absolutely obsessed with my new toy, which is this, a Fitbit. So, I have probably had about three Fitbits in the past. The last one I had was about a couple of years ago when I was prepping for my first show. Um, obviously tracking calories, tracking steps, things like that. I don't know what it is, but this time, guys, I've really, really taken it on board, and I've been tracking my things every single day. I've been looking at all the graphs. I mean, it's fucking amazing. I love, I love this data, you know. That's why I love my fitness pal so much, is because you put your stuff in there, and the reports and the graphs, you know, I always love maths at school. I love looking at visual things, um, you know, bar graphs, pie graphs, all that kind of thing to show data and especially when it's about yourself and it's about your own body and you're learning your own body um, I've just I'm rolling with it man I'm really enjoying it so with the Fitbit it's one with a heart rate um, not only do you have obviously your steps you've got your your heart rate your resting heart rate throughout the day you've also got you know how high your heart rate got at certain times uh, whilst you're doing exercise so you've got an average resting heart rate you've got maximum heart rate you've got you know it lets you know when you're in the fat burning mode above 130 beats per minute as well as that we've got calorie count total calories burnt it creates that value through you know your body weight you're entering all your details as well as what your heart rate's doing throughout the day um, as well as that my my favorite thing to track right now is actually my sleep funnily enough so I never really knew that these had a, a sleep tracker in it um, looking at the app first thing I saw was a sleep tracker and I, I looked at it and you know, I'd, I'd always, I guess, um, I'd always, uh, I guess, thought that I was a restless sleeper. There haven't been too many times when people have actually slept beside me to tell me I'm a restless sleeper. But honestly, like as a kid, for example, every single morning without fail, my blankets would be on the floor. These days, it's not so bad. But anyways, looking looking at my sleep chart um, or looking at my sleep tracker, I do get quite a good amount of sleep but throughout that time I am tossing and turning like literally every 20-30 minutes even every 10 minutes sometimes so in a particular night I might get eight hours of sleep split up between two times I've actually woken up between that time and I'll remember it I've either gone to the toilet or something and amazingly like this will actually like if I get up and go to the toilet for two minutes come back to bed and go back to sleep straight away this tracks it and it obviously knows because you've taken a few steps your heart rate might have um, you know, raised a little bit whilst you walk to the toilet and back. And um, yeah, just the way that it tracks everything and it knows is amazing. And so <laughs> what I've become obsessed with doing is every single morning when I wake up, the first thing I do, the very first thing I do is I pick up my phone, I sync it with my Fitbit, and I find out how my sleep's gone. So two minutes after I've woken up, I know exactly how my sleep has gone that night. And you know, with that data and with that you know information, I can then assess how I'm feeling this morning, why I'm feeling that way, if I'm feeling extra tired, is it because I woke up heaps of times throughout the night? Like it's just, a, it's an amazing piece of data to have. Um, I was looking for apps on my phone to track that, but honestly I don't think anything's gonna be better than the Fitbit to track my sleep. So, so on a daily basis right now, I am tracking my, my calories through my fitness pal, as well as my calories burnt. So I'm tracking my calories in and calories out, uh, which is cool. I'm tracking my sleep, I'm tracking my resting heart rate, I'm tracking my maximum heart rate, and I'm tracking my distance traveled. Um, yeah, there's just so many things. It's such an amazing piece of technology. I love it, I really do, and I'm obsessed. So that's the title of this video, man. Um, I'm obsessed with my new little toy. And too bad I didn't get it when I was cutting because, you know, <laughs> there's something about having a step count, a live step count, like a pedometer, on you that makes you want to go and do more steps. 
first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, I want to get outside and start, you know, getting this this thing rolling. You know, I want to get up to a thousand, two thousand, five thousand steps before I, I do anything. So then I know that um, you know I've done some work. But with that being said, now that I'm bulking, it's like, well, do I really want to do that? I don't know. Either way, regardless of whether I do do cardio or not, I'm really enjoying tracking everything. And the only and all it's doing is basically, you know making me more in tune with my body and how it's working. So what I can tell you is that on any given day, I will burn at least 3,000, if not, you know, 3,300, 3,500 calories. That's with one weights workout, no cardio. So on any given day, at least three to three and a half thousand calories. Um, if I don't go out for a specific walk or anything, I'll at least do six, maybe 8,000 steps. If I do go for a walk, it's well over 10,000 steps a day. Um, one interesting thing was my resting heart rate. So I, you know, I didn't know what my resting heart rate was. I didn't know what a healthy one was or, or anything really. But, you know, after using this for the last couple of weeks, I have now found out that my resting heart rate is below 60 beats per minute and it averages about 54 to 55 beats per minute at rest. So that is healthy, that makes me feel good. You know, I would never have known that if I didn't wear this. So, you know, as, heart, as far as my heart rate goes, everything is, is good. Sleep, um, on average, well, I mean, what I can tell you from my sleep tracker is that when I do go to bed, I fall asleep, you know, relatively quickly. Um, during the night, I won't realize it, but I fucking toss and turn like no one else. I might wake up probably once or twice a night every three to four hours and on average you know I'm I'm averaging six to eight hours a night sleep if I have a sleep in you know it could be more than that basically at the moment yeah if I have to get up for work I have to get up for work and that's the way it is but what I what I can say like I said before is that once I do go to bed um, I do fall asleep relatively quickly so that's good so yeah, that's it guys. Uh, today's Monday. We're sitting at, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, can you? <laughs> Fucking hell. We're at 7,122 steps. And right now I'm going to go out for a walk. And just because I want to. <laughs> uh, and we're going to get that over 10,000 steps before the end of the day. So. Um, that's it guys, that's it. I'm obsessed, as you guys know now, but I'm not, not obsessed with a girl, I'm not obsessed with anything stupid, I'm obsessed with my fucking Fitbit, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. So with that said, I'm going to go for a walk now. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow, um, well, today being Monday, I was meant to do it today, but I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to run through the full, full week's worth of macros, calories, and I'm also going to show you guys my training journal, which is something I've always wanted to do, but I've never, well, I've, you know, I've started one in the past, but I've never been able to follow through. We're at day 12 now, so I've got 12 days of, of MyFitnessPal entries, and I've got 12 days of weightlifting journal entries, and I've got 12 days of my fitness, of uh, Fitbit entries, so... Fuck man, everything's getting tracked at the moment. Calories in, calories out, sleep, training, heart rate, steps. It's, it's all go. I'm really enjoying being in tune with my body. And I think you guys would too. You know, it may seem obsessive, but it's really not. All you're doing is ch chucking this on and letting it do its thing. And then you can look at the details and the data whenever and wherever you want. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys now. I hope you have a great night or a great day wherever you are. Train hard, eat well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.